Hello and welcome to the Movie Dungeon, where we take a look at the underbelly of the movie world. Well, some friends of mine recommended that I see Fred the movie. Yeah, I think it's kind of cute how he has that R backwards, you know? Anyways, Fred is some internet sensation in case you don't know, and apparently he's gotten so popular that he got a movie. It's directed by Clay Weiner, who directed such classics as... Well, this is his first movie, apparently. So, let's check it out. I'll use your entrails as confetti! I'll rip out your gizzard and shove it down that thing you call a mouth! I'll rip off your skin with a dull knife and make a funny hat! You're the worst thing that happened since Andy Milanakis! Rage! Well, now that I got that out of my system, let's try to get through the rest of the movie. Hold on a second. I suppose I should answer it. Hello? Hello? Andy Milanakis? No one knows who the fuck you are anymore, Andy Milanakis. Go get raped by a horse with AIDS. The nerve of some people. Damn. The story's about Fred, of course, and he's trying to get with the girl Wait, next door, but uh-oh, huh? there's a bully named Kevin trying to stop him. She hates him, man. Why can't you just get that through your head, dude? She hates And then the girl moves. <laughs> I do like his imaginary dad just because he hits him a lot. Ow! <laughs> And so he has to go on a journey full of bullshit antics that aren't funny. Well, except maybe that part. But mostly not funny. And there's one part where he has to go through the woods, and oh, he peed himself. That must be really funny. And then he walks into a party uninvited. He embarrasses himself. That's kind of funny. And then uh, afterwards, he makes a video that I could not tear my eyes away from. It was really enticing. Like, I couldn't help but watch the entire thing. I almost ended up watching that twice. At the end, the girl comes over to sing with him like he always wanted to. The end. And that's all there is. Oh, yeah. Most of the movie consists of Fred talk funny, Fred fall down, Fred get hit with things, Fred scream like girl got the tree shoved up ass. Oh, wait. I bet that's not the only thing that got shoved up ass. Overall, this movie's harmless, but to me that makes it shit. This is the kind of movie that you watch when your friends are over and you're drunk and high. That's all this movie is. It's a quick cash-in, nothing more. And half the time, I'm trying to wonder what the fuck this is. Like, look at this scene. Do I need ketchup? Probably not. <laughs> but it can be dangerous out there. I'm coming for you, Stewie! I'm coming! I'm coming! Hate ketchup. What the hell provoked that? What, he probably picked up ketchup and he thought of war? Okay, fine, whatever. This movie will probably be forgotten within the first year it came out. And you know, this is the kind of thing that kids are growing up nowadays. You know what I grew up with as a kid? Ah. 
Yeah, that's what I was watching when I was a kid. That's what I grew up on. Not Nothing like this. Like, what am I watching? What the hell? It's like if Doug Funny and the Chipmunks were brothers and they had a kid together. It's just, ugh. So, I would never see this movie again. I would never recommend this movie unless I was drunk or high. Damn. And, you know what? Maybe I just don't understand it. Maybe I should give him a fair chance and watch some of his online clips, you know? The things that made him a star in the first place? Maybe then I'll understand his popularity. Maybe then I'll understand the character, Fred, and why he has that R backwards. Maybe then. Hey, it's Fred! Fred! I'll cut you up the middle! I'm gonna rip your head off and shit down your neck! I'll kill you! Die! Why won't you die? And I'll split his friggin' head open! I'll kill you all! Get roboticized! One night I'm gonna come to you inside of your house, wherever you're sleeping, and I'm gonna cut your throat. Uh...